My name is Mildra. The project now known as the Monastery started as both a means to express myself and express my love for tabletop RPGs that lie outside of the trappings of the so-called world's most popular role-playing game. A primary reason I did it was forged by my experiences with gamers of all walks of life who told a similar story. There was always something keeping people from venturing out into the unknown, seeing what was out there. The Monastery was my attempt at showing that the unknown isn't all that scary, as well as exploring my own unorthodox views on gaming, game criticism, genre theory, and many other aspects of gaming and outside of it. Essentially, I used tabletop RPGs as a launchpad to give my own perspective, as well as to show what else was out there. In some cases, it's a bit orthodox, like my theories on fighters and how I believe they're mistreated, to some of the more out-of-my-ass ideas like the idea of gestalt fantasy. But over the course of its development, I often found myself asking, why tabletop? On some of my more grimmer days when self-doubt plagued me, it seemed like I was spending too much time on things nobody had heard of, with a market share that's dwarfed by video games, comic books, film, and so on. But in the last few years, I've come to a conclusion as to why it was my focus. Storytelling. I have mentioned this many times over the years, but I love stories in their totality. The practice of storytelling itself, and how it captures the imagination. It's something that's passed down from person to person, others being inspired by it, and celebrating it in their own way. Whether it be creating a costume that references a character, to creating rules for games that reference the thing that inspires them. I very much believe that the modern convention and a culture festival from 500 years ago are not too dissimilar, but I digress. Tabletop RPGs, to me, exist in a happy medium between the storytelling traditions that have gone back for centuries to an interactive aspect that connects people in a way that spectator-based narratives are unable to do. We all have our cornerstones, our roots, those things that make us into the people we see when we look in a mirror. Tabletop gaming, and to a greater extent, the act of storytelling, is one of mine. It was through it that a younger me was able to learn structured storytelling amongst the group, to learn communication and learn the basics of design when I was just trying to figure out why I liked the things I liked, if I was just a product of our environment, or if something more was at work. It was with this pseudo-philosophy in mind that I started my reviews and my musings. And then, unfortunately, a series of bad luck events in my personal life robbed me of the ability to do them, to the point where I almost wanted to quit altogether and simply disappear. It's only thanks to a group of friends who had more faith in me than I did that I was able to make it to this point. Many scoff at the value of online friends, that they're not real friends, but to me they're as real as anything else. As such, there are many people I have to thank, because without them, I would never have the courage to do this again. I have effectively been given a second chance, one that I do not intend to waste. So once again, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mildra. They call me the Gaming Monk. And these dice, these cards, these books, and these boards, these occupy the monastery I welcome you to one more time. And there's a lot of games to go over, and I think it's time to get to work. I want to give a special thank you to everybody who helped me out and believed in me that I would rather through this period where I wasn't able to make videos and wasn't able to do what I wanted on this channel and on my blog. When the whole computer thing happened, it really dampened my creative ability. But with this new one back and... I cannot stress enough how grateful I am to actually be able to make videos again. I want to give a special thanks to everyone who donated towards getting the original graphics card. Things didn't go exactly as I planned, but eventually I was able to bounce back from it. I want to give a special thanks to Homer, to Mercedes Carrera, to Alan Harris, to Shannon Gibbs, to Mongolian Chop, as well as to Bayonita, and finally to every member of RVT who's been willing to put up with the new guy. It's thanks to you that I'm able to make videos again, that I'll be able to make videos for as long as I want to, and be able to do even more with this channel than I could have ever dreamed. So from the bottom of my heart, thank all of you. I hope that the videos that I create, some of which may be good, some of which may be bad, some of which may be controversial, but I hope that I make it all worth it.